Welcome to Dover for another nationwide race. Here's a qualifying grid for today's race. A brand new Dover I got. Looks way different than the one I used to use or the driver used to drive on. Hopefully it turns out to be exciting. And let's see if we can get another Dover Dominator. Remember all Joe Gibbs car the only dry team. This is not a golf tournament! Not I this said, one again. And the field's rolling off. Christopher Kale was the recent Dover Dominator. The other one was in back in season one. I forgot who drove it, but I still remember it was a, was a number 20 car. It was a PS Vita scheme. Looks like no drivers have problems. No one's being towed back to their pit stall or anything or blowing up. Jason Tross leaves him, followed by Mike Bliss, DJ Curtis, Chris Watcher, Ash Curtis, and Charles Sanford. Got a few chasers up and starting up front, and there goes the pace car, and here we go. Here you go, green flag. Jason Tross gets a good start. DJ Curtis moves to second quickly. He knows he has to get this win. Mike Bliss back to the bottom. Goes to the bottom, to say. Stealing second. Almost three wide off of four. And oh, there goes the caution. Two cars. Spin now. First caution. Jason Tross still the leader. Mike Bliss in second. He'll lead us under the caution flag. Whoa, there goes Ash Curtis. Oh, back in front of traffic. That turned out better than I expected. Let's take a look at the replay. This happened way at the back. The 73 car hooks back to 25. It hooks the 14. Bounces off the wall pretty hard. No safer barrier. Well, I don't think the 14 touched anything. Just kept locking up the brakes. Nope. Didn't touch a thing. Then we move on. To the 33 car, Ash Curtis, fast forwarded. See them coming three wide off of four. Not good for the 33 car. He's one of the chase contenders up in front. Then comes right back up in front of Ben Siebert. Then the 77 gets a piece of the wall. And then Seth Brown somewhere oh 73 Reagan runs right into the back of him Seth Brown's car got stuck he got stuck right there now I'll take you back to the restart there is currently some kind of confusion on something there is a second place driver but these drivers are at the back so these are the only two of them up to normal speed now we're gonna start the race without them green flag now these guys drivers start rolling so Reagan's out of this race there's a lot of drivers on lap down for some reason oh wait there's a reason everyone's slow down trying to not get involved in the wreck. They're all packed up three wide. There goes the drivers on pit road. 
and get past these drivers as quick as possible. Sanford going down pit road. Could be a problem with that car. It's early in the race. Whoa, there we go. 88 Connor Smith turned around, taps the wall, back in front. Wow, that was real close. Caution's out again. Of course, the 43 will lead us. Cause he's where'd he go? There he is. And uh, caution's out for the second time. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, these drivers coming off four. Uh. Kyle Thomas got in the back of Jeffrey Earnhardt and that turned Connor Smith around. Hit the wall real slightly and this is where it gets nearly gets big. This would have been a wicked hit. Eden Siegel and Brad Johnson just missed him. Now I'll take you back to the restart. So this time there will be no confusion. Oh, and Ash Curtis is second. After wrecking early, or my driver the lap down. Green flag. We're back underway. Three wide off the corner. What? Well, uh, yeah, I'm doing the thing. Okay, I got interrupted right there. Uh, Jason Tross still the leader. Uh, Ash Curtis so still in second. And caution out again. No, oh, the 16 is Sam Curtis. And Seth Brown looks like he'll get his lap back. No, there he goes, spins himself out. Oh, and the leader, Jason Tross hit him. He stopped, he stopped. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. So it looks like we'll not have a Dover Dominator in this Dover race. I'll take a look at the replay. Same situation, sort of. Pretty much that's what causes all the wrecks at Dover. Three wide off the corner, Sam Curtis going around right in front of traffic. A few drivers hit him, but is still able to get away. But Jeffrey Inhardt, uh spun himself out trying to avoid it. Sam Curtis stuck on... Oh, there's Ben Siebert. He tried to avoid it. Sam Curtis tried to get back on track and hits Jeffrey Earnhardt. And this is where it gets big. Jason Tross... Was the leader come on? And we took a look at the spectator cam. You see a lot of drivers trying to avoid him. He's still on the track. Seth Brown spins himself out, and then Jason Tross thought he could go to the low side. Bam! And everyone piles in. Well, now I'll take you back to the restart. All right, getting ready to go back to green. Ash Curtis is the leader now. Green flag back. We're back underway. Ken Trader in second, followed by third, Brian Brown. La Drivers now gonna get their lap back. Because they got that inside lane advantage. They don't really have a lot of damage. We real tight. Look at that, three wide again. Crisscross move by the seven car Regina Palange. And we're still green. They're still tight off the corner, loose. Ash Curtis still the leader. Look at Regina Palange catching up. Looks like the 32 Kyle Larson will get the lead. Finally got past. And now those drivers are over there up ahead of Kyle Larson. Need the caution. Gotta get that lap back. Christopher Kale making a three wide. 
you know, the chase contender, but ever since got that two wins, everything went downhill. I mentioned that before. I'm gonna keep saying it. Ooh, Kyle Larson getting blocked by Connor Smith. Slow drivers. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 got a wreck again. Four cars, five. 24 car again, noodles involved. Warden Cherry, Tom Gerard, Chris Watcher. And that's a big break right there for a lot of those drivers up ahead. Kyle Larson, the leader. As we take a look at the replay. And whoa, we still got Rex. Oh, Connor Smith involved. Got some heavy damage on that. And uh, we'll take a look at the replay. Alright, you see here the three wide Tom Dry hooks the 24 car. There goes Noodles and DJ Curtis. Then you see Chris Watcher and Warden Cherry collide. Uh, just now, Warden Cherry just ran to the back of someone his day is done we just skip on ahead yeah let's see that's the damage right there uh, yeah it goes right into the back of George Tross oh that's some big air right there see BAM let's take you back alright getting ready to go back to green here we go now only the slower drivers are on the inside that gives that gives the advantage to Kyle Larson, sort of, because he's got a fast car. Now everyone wants to get past. Kale, he's really not patient. He's not patient. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to oh, gone to his teammate. Caution! Back in front of traffic. This is gonna be big. Okay, not really. But humongous damage on. Colin Bardell's car cautions out again. Less than 10 to go. Whoever's in second now hopes he, actually she, will get ahead of lap traffic. Nope. Let's take a look at the replay. See, it looks they're going three wide off the corner. And then seven and three, 30 make contact. 20 goes around. Teammate hooked him. Huge impact into the 18 car coming back in front. Colin Martell thought he had a chance. Too late. Runs right into the 20 and Chris Watcher runs right into him. Brad Johnson involved. Seth Brown involved. Curtis involved. A handful of drivers involved. Now I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. Green flag. Paul Johansson might not be an issue to the seven. Could be a help too. He's lapped down. He's one lap down, or maybe more. I don't know. But he isn't slow. Got no damage or anything. So Kyle Larson still leading. The seven car right on the Palange, trying to get ahead. Get past that twenty-five. It's going to be four laps. Bob Johnson giving room. Donna Plunge tucks it right in. If the caution comes out at this point, we will, we're going to end this race under green. This 25 might want to pass that 32. That can give a huge advantage. Three to go now. Three more laps to go. Keeping an eye on that 25 car. Adana Palan is still trying to make the move on the 25. Still can't do it though. Looks to the outside just a little bit. It ain't gonna work. Three wide off there. Two more to go. Larson looking to get the win. Even if she finishes second, it's still good race the white flag is in the air here we go white flag in the air one more to go everyone's racing for position as hard as they can Larson does not have to worry 
Maybe he might. I don't know. And checkered flag in the air. Kyle Larson wins this race. No one's trying to get as much spots as possible. And that's it. And we finish this race under green. Now we'll take a look at the race results. Here's the official results. Kyle Larson wins it. Regina Palanche second. Third Ken Schrader. Fourth Hayden Chung. Fifth Bob Meijer. Sixth Brian Brown. Seventh Carl Long. Eighth Ash Curtis. Ninth Kai Chris Kyle. Tenth Nick Purcells. Eleventh Seth Brown. Twelfth Jeffrey Earnhardt. Thirteenth George Strauss. Fourteenth Charles Sanford. Fifteenth Austin Dillon. Sixteenth. Andy Tran, 17th Noodles Newley, 18th Grant Thomas, 19th John McNamara, and 20th DJ Curtis. Good comeback for Seth Brown. He was a lap down at one point and he was able to finish 11th. Here is the rest of the race results for today's race. Hope you enjoyed today's race. We'll now take you to victory lane and we'll see you for race 31. Here's the point standings after Dover race 30. Ash Curtis still with the points lead. Hayden Chung up one spot. Ger George Tross the second down one. Chris Kyle up one. Regina Palange up three. Brian around and Marines in six. Kyle Thomas down three. John McNamara up one. Christopher Kale down two. And DJ Curtis remains in tenth. Last in the point standings. Here's the rest. <laughs>